The West Philadelphia Alliance for Children, known to most people simply as WEPAC, renovates, stocks, opens, and runs closed public elementary school libraries throughout West Philadelphia using teams of talented and dedicated volunteers. Simply put, we bring school libraries to life. As you hear our story and listen to those we serve, we hope that you will be inspired to join us. I'm from America and I like the library because it has a lot of books and I like to read and I'm nine years old. And I really like the library. Like, this is the best library because you can get all these books you want. Like, like everything, like cat and hat books. And, stuff like that. No money. and what grade did you say you were in? I can read this whole page. And my teacher said I can't come to the library. It would be really sad for us because the library is so fun. Formed as an independent, non sectarian, non profit corporation in 2004, WePAC has deep and growing ties to West Philadelphia. Located in historic Powelton Village, WePAC serves public schools throughout West Philadelphia by partnering with them to open and run their libraries. Our mission is simple, to promote childhood literacy in our great city. WePAC's vision is that every Philadelphia student will be empowered with the literacy skills vital not only to the success of the child, but to the prosperity of our entire community. WePAC identifies schools which have no library services for students. Many of the schools at one time had vibrant, active libraries and full-time librarians on staff. Over the past 25 years, libraries and elementary schools have been steadily closing their doors, and the pace of closings has been increasing in recent years. Many school libraries are used for storage or simply reside behind locked doors. While WePAC believes that every school should have a paid professional librarian on staff, the reality is that this is unlikely to happen soon. WePAC fills this gap in schools by utilizing volunteers to renovate library spaces add books to outdated or non-existent collections, and open the library doors to students. Over the past three years, WePAC has donated 30,000 books to West Philadelphia school libraries and is now circulating more than 2,500 books per month to students. In order to serve the most students possible, WePAC works with the school to schedule classes to come to the library. Teachers stay with their class during library time, freeing our volunteers to read stories to the children, engaging students in the characters, plot, setting, and illustrations. WePAC volunteers work with teachers and schools to support the curriculum and to align what is happening in the library with what is happening throughout the school. Our goals are modest, yet profound. We want to make reading fun for children and accessible to children, and we want to reach children at an early age to grow their literacy skills and their love of reading. Without meaningful interventions which build on children's strengths and natural curiosity, nearly one half of the students you will see throughout this video will remain at risk of dropping out without graduating from high school. A growing body of research reveals that children who are not proficient readers by the end of third grade are at substantial risk of dropping out of school. Numerous studies have concluded that simply having a school library open to students results in higher test scores and student achievement, regardless of any other factors. Simply having an open library can make a world of difference to a young child. In contrast to the declining library services in our public schools, each of Pennsylvania's 26 state prisons is required to have a librarian with a master's degree, a collection of at least 5,000 books, a collection of at least 20 periodicals, and seating space for 20. No such requirements exist for our schools. We want you to hear from some of the people who make our services possible and from those who benefit from them principals, teachers, our board of directors, 
volunteers, and most importantly, students. My name is Phil DeLuca. I'm the principal at Gompers Elementary School. I've been the principal here for the past eight years, since uh, 2003. And I want to thank uh, WePAC for choosing Gompers as one of their sites that they work at. And I just want to say that there wouldn't be a library or a library program without you guys. Um, as many schools um, um, are in difficult times with financial uh, supports, without WePAC, without the volunteers, there would be no librarian, there's no money for any assistant librarian. And uh, without the program, students wouldn't have to be, uh, wouldn't be circulating books on a weekly basis. Um, the library wouldn't be stopped and organized the, the way it is. And uh, we just thank you. We hope that you're going to be here for a long time because we really don't have a backup plan at this time. But um, again, um, from all the community and then the students here at Gompers, we thank you. Um, and we hope that you continue to support uh, our young people here in the city of Philadelphia. All kids have different interests, and you never know what book, what interest, what thing is going to turn them on to what they become in life. The culture in the, in the school is that it's sacred time, special time, and nobody misses it. Everyone's on time, and it's kind of hard to get them to leave. So um, it's one of the, if, if not the most popular class um, in the school. And that's kind of where we are right now with um, a lot of high interest books and a lot of motivation to be in this room and to take part in, in readings. I like to go to the library because you pick books, books and you could know more information about books. For many years, Cassidy did not have a library. We PAC, our community partners, came in and took a classroom that was really in bad shape and turned it into a beautiful library. Volunteers have read to our children and our children have been able to check out books. That has had such an impact on our reading program and our reading scores and having children read independently. That is so important because we give our students the skills and strategies for reading, but independent reading is where they really get the practice for reading. We are so grateful to have a library. It's just so important to a school. If you can imagine a school without a library, that was Cassidy before WePAC came. What a book does for a student, it is actually allows them to transcend to different places, different times, meet new friends as characters in a book. So, so reading or literacy itself is very important a child's learning. Um, most students, if they're not readers by third grade, we start seeing um, rated deficits later on in the upper grades. So the impact of the library and um, the t activities that we pack provide in my library has a significant impact on the students here. Many of the kids don't have anyone to read to them or have anyone to read to them at home. I love coming to the library because I can hear people read and stuff and I can pick out my own books and I love to pick out good books. I show all my friends my new book. It's hard for me to think about a library being closed, but it's even harder for me to think about a library being closed for 10 years and then suddenly awaken and being reborn. We have a beautiful library and we have a lot of books that we did not have prior to this initiative with WePAC. And I, I think it'll be a great, uh, uh, I think it'll be great for our students because they will learn the importance of books outside of the classroom. We're excited because we have not had that for a long time. You can buy any book in my library. Funny books, scary books, interesting books, dictionaries, and books, a lot of other books you would be interested in. I like about the library is the interesting stories they read to us. While learning how to read and while literacy is not a magic solution to all the complicated problems that affect poor families and poor African American families, certainly if you want to give kids a chance a chance to learn how to read, how to, learn, to learn to love to read and to write, to learn how to research, how to find knowledge and to love knowledge, and to give them the exposure they need 
to maybe break out of some of the uh, limitations of their upbringing, uh, what better way than to make sure that the doors of the school library are open? There's really no better way to enter the lives of the children in West Philadelphia than through reading. If you want to see a direct impact on what your volunteerism can do, I think that WePAC is an extraordinary opportunity for a, uh, a volunteer or uh, any interested party to become a part of the solution. Um, literacy is just, it truly is the, the, the building block of education. And I think anyone who who understands and who comes in contact with children knows how much a book can open up a child's world. And if you have a passion for um, helping, this is a perfect way to see how you can directly impact a child and thereby impact a community. It is a frightening thought that we are graduating kids that cannot read. Um, and that have no real relationship to books. And what I like about this library is that it's really fun and I love to read. I like to learn about anything, anything big. It's very important that our young people learn how to read because it will help them become better people. It will help them become better parents. It will help them become better neighbors. And overall, it will help the local communities build up. And once again, it's very important that we all support as many people as we can in our communities. The really fun part is to watch them listen to stories, and when they're asked a question, everybody's hand goes up, and they all want to have the, they all want to have the answer. They all want to be called on. It is extremely energizing. It makes you feel good that you're part of WePAC, part of an organization that is really having an effect in, in West Philadelphia. Even if you have a lousy day and don't do a particularly good job in a given day, it gives you such a terrific feeling that, that you're virtually guaranteed of feeling better at the end of your time in a WePAC school than you were when you came in. The heart and soul of WePAC's library program lies with our volunteers who give selflessly of their time, experience, and talent. They are a remarkably diverse group, coming at the work of supporting children from a variety of backgrounds. Students and retirees, Philadelphians and suburbanites, full-time workers and part-time workers, former teachers and former librarians. Whether they volunteer two hours a week or two days a week, they share a belief in the students and in their futures. They know that their investment of time and energy is making a difference and can transform a city. Any well-read story is a pleasure to read because the kids are having fun and that's what really counts. Nine of every ten animals that live below the sunlit layer of the ocean are bioluminescent. They can produce their own light. Whatever you bring to them, whatever you read to them, whatever you share with them, they love and they don't forget. <coughs> oh my, try saying that word, bio. Say that. Bioluminescent. Oh, Once you connect a child with a book that touches their heart, they become readers. When you know you have them, when they can barely stand it, when you just know because their eyes are on you. And then also, in a book like that, a nonfiction book, the questions that they're asking. It gives you such great feedback to know where to take them next and what you might want to share with them next. It, it's the best.
That's why a person keeps an eye on his shadows when he wakes up. You will be rewarded. As much as the children receive, you receive as much from just watching them and their, and their excitement and their joy of getting the books. A shadow says nothing because he has no, no voice. The zebra's shadow has been stripes. Oh, isn't that interesting? The zebra's, why doesn't the zebra's shadow have stripes? Reading to them is the most exciting because they get into it just as much as I get into it. You will be rewarded. As much as the children receive, you receive as much from just watching them and their, and their excitement and their joy of getting the books. Because I get to read more and learn more. cock -a doodle The Tom Tom rushed in even before the rooster finished crowing. Henny, have you got something for my hollow, hollow tummy? This time he found a smooth, round potato, even bigger than an egg. He cooked it quickly, swallowed it down, and went back to his hayloft. He woke up at sunset only half full. The Tom Tom had had enough. Henny, he shouted, tomorrow I want an egg for breakfast and nothing else. And if I don't find one, I'll eat you instead. My students absolutely love from the library. One day we could not come and they were so upset. They enjoyed getting the books, checking them out, listening to stories, sitting on the carpet. They just have a ball in the library. Getting them excited about reading is half the battle. Like, because I could put books in front of them, but getting them excited about reading and wanting to read the books and getting to practice reading, that's half the battle. So when they come here, they're excited about reading, they're excited about getting new books. A lot of my kids don't go to a library. They don't, they've never been in a, like a public library. My here. students have improved dramatically. A lot of them came in reading on a first and, uh, kindergarten and first grade level, and over half of them are now reading at the end of a second grade level. They like books uh, ball games, big dog, little dog, and big animals in the sea. My class loves coming to the library. <laughs> they enjoy reading. They enjoy being read too. They enjoy being able to choose their own books. They enjoy getting books that they're interested in, like maybe it's insects or dinosaurs. Because it's great to read. Because you can learn new things. They enjoy coming to the library. They get upset if they're not brought to the library once a week at least. I get questions all the way home about when are we coming back to the library. I have seen grade levels increase, reading levels increase. Uh, the interest in reading and being read to um, it's very high. I can read books so I get smarter. I like to read Arthur books, links to huge books and stuff like that. And I like to read books that's funny, books that make me laugh. My students really enjoy coming to the library and I think their favorite part is getting to choose their own books and having that ownership and being able to look through the pictures. They might not necessarily be able to read the words yet, but they're learning to love to read, which is so important. It's been really wonderful to see kids who really struggled reading and lack the confidence to read in the beginning of the year grow to really just love reading read under their desks while I'm teaching. <laughs> it's gotten to the point where about quarter after nine when they know it should be time to get ready to go, they're telling me we have to go to the library. They're very inquisitive obviously and attentive also. Very respectful, very nice kids and I definitely enjoy working here with them and my other volunteers. And uh, we have a nice close-knit unit. We work together. One of the things that, that we as the, the readers do is to engage the, the class as we're reading. It's just not, you know, we're reading the book, but we're reading the book, we're showing them the pictures, and then we're engaging them in some whatever activity is going on at the book at the time. They seem to be really excited when they come in here. You know, they're, they're eager to put their books back. They want to go and find new books. They want to hear the story. It's just a really exciting thing to have kids excited about coming to a library. I'm from um, West Philly, and I like coming from to this library because it is got a lot of books and got a lot of books so you can learn things like math, reading, writing, everything. I think they're very curious about the bigger world. This is what libraries should, the school experience should include 
a time when the kids are sitting on a rug, getting very comfortable. Just giving a book to a kid and have them say thank you is just wonderful. Volunteers are needed, especially in these days and times when, when we have um, economic struggles, but also in addition to that, it makes a difference to the schools. I like them to the library at school. If you are already a WePAC supporter, either as a volunteer or a donor, we cannot thank you enough. You have helped us to accomplish many great things already. If you would like to join us and help us to accomplish even more, there are dozens of schools and thousands of children waiting for us to open their library doors. We cannot do it without you.